I had a certain amount of money, and I said, I ain't going over that, you know. you dealing with an American that's, you know. So anyway, we made a deal with the man, and I said, I'm not going over this amount. Whatever it was, it was like, it was like less than a thousand dollars, okay, for this acre. Right. Okay, and if you've ever seen a Western where the Indians and the other ones sitting around with a peace pipe, mm -hmm. that's what it reminds me of. Because they was going back, I didn't know what they were saying. Oh, yeah. but were you they, there? Huh? Were you there? Yeah. When it was, when it was being, what? Like, do you have like a deed or something? I think I got that stuff in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, like the. Um, landscape you know and i'm saying landscape about how big it is all right because i was buying different pieces also but that main main land, main land mm -hmm. okay and i said okay i'll buy it but this is all i'm spending i said not a nickel more <laughs> you know because i know hey i'm dealing with the people that she they knew what she, they what the man was saying you know right but when I agreed and gave the, gave them the man the money and mm -hmm. they transferred it over, they tell me the next day when it was like it might have been like on a Sunday, mm -hmm. the next day would have been Sunday. So he came in there dressed up, so you knew he had made a sale. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. How much land did he have? I don't know how much money he had. I I was spending wasn't spending more than a thousand dollars. No, how much land? Oh, it's almost a land, almost an acre. How much did the king have? I don't know. This man was not a king. Oh. Uh huh. He was not a king. He just in Africa. It's like at that time, it was like so much land that. Um, family members had, you know, maybe it was 10 people in the family or whatever, and each one of them had so much land, mm -hmm. okay? And uh, so when you, when you right. cut the air off, no. oh, the music, oh, okay, the, um, whatever amount he was selling, it was like, he might have had he might have had 10 acres, mm -hmm. but this particular spot was like an acre. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what I was. He was selling me a piece of that land. He was selling me a piece of that land. Mm -hmm. And you said that, were you, you weren't originally planning on buying the land, right? Well, I was planning on buying the land after we had talked, you know, me and Francis and Georgina had talked about it. You know, because at that point I had told them, I said, I see a need because the girls are getting pregnant. And when I asked them, well, where is the ha the husband? Because they were, everybody, everybody at that time had the hand out. They want, so, they, you know, they needed some money, you know, whatever. So I said, well, where is the husband? They said, he said he ain't responsible. Ain't no husband. He ain't responsible. That's how they got out of it. That's how the mm. men got out of it. Yeah. So for me, mm. I said, okay, the only thing that I don't know who I saw or who I heard or whatever that caused me to want to do this, but I know the only thing that I could do, I knew how to sew. And I said, but they needed a place to learn how. These were in the village where there's no running water, no electricity, you know, no plumbing, you know. okay? Mm -hmm. That was the kind of place, and that's how come nobody want, necessarily wanted to go from the United States. But that's, that's how I ended up buying it. And I'm thinking in my file cabinet, in my room that I've got, you know, different paperwork. Okay. So I have to, you didn't see my room yet. I got all <laughs> the boxes full of pictures. I had, your mother brought it out. 
And this morning she looked, she said, is this garbage? I said, no, I got to go through this stuff. You know, so some of it is pictures that, um, some of it is pictures of, of crusades and stuff we did in Mississippi. But, uh, you know, for me to be able to go through and find uh, Africa. So, okay, you bought the land for $1,000. About 1000 And then as things went on, you had to send them other money. I didn't have to send them. No, what you mean other? Well, to get the place built. Okay, Francis and Georgina, I could trust him. You know, you can't necessarily, I couldn't trust them because I didn't know them. But them, trust I could, key. because they're, the language, they got 52 dialects in that area. And with them, but English is the basic language, but I can understand them. So whenever I, uh, after I picked out the land and they measured, you know, and stuff, um, then I would send, you know, he would, I had him to, you know, it's like, okay, I need, I wanted this big going this far. I'm standing in the hotel walking it off. You know, from where I was standing to over there, I wanted that that long that way. Then I went to, that's the way I walked it Did off. you picked out the design of the school? No, I picked out how much space I wanted. Oh, how the square footage and all yeah, that. Yeah, that's okay. all I had, you know. Okay. And uh, then he, Francis found an architect that designed the building. Okay. And then as they got started, you know, every time they needed some more supplies, you know, he said, Mama, we need uh, 50 um, rods. These are the rods that would go up and down to make the wall stand around the windows and all of that. I mean, I had pictures of everything, <laughs> you know, but that's, that's how he did it. Okay. And then to raise the money to send over there. Well, okay, whenever he would ask, he'd tell me what he needed, you know, it's like, okay, I was only, I was not only a pastor, but at that point, I was also uh, getting Social Security, so it was my money, all right? So Did he it say, all yourself? Huh? Did it all yourself? Well, not all myself, you know, there were people who were... Um, kind of like following along with what I was doing, you know, and I said, okay, I'm raising this up. I had pictures. I think I might even have a couple of copies of uh, the newsletters that I would send out, you know, and people would send whatever, you know, and so it's like, okay, if he needed $500 to buy uh, these poles, then I sent him by Western Union. Mm -hmm. Western Union ought to know my name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And this is why when I came down here, you know, I was used to going to the Western Union State, you know, store and getting the money order and sending it. This was in the early, what year was this being built? I bought the land in 2006. 2006. And I dedicated it in 2009. It took me that long to, you know, to build the two story. What do you mean dedicated? Oh, like. Open like it dedicated, up. you know, like open, open like it up. open shit and crack but the bottle. It, huh? Crack the bottle. On well, the man didn't crack no bottle. But that, <laughs> that, 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 that's what I did, you know. And, um, oh my goodness, that was a big, that was like a big celebration up there in the village. Because there were, you know, like I said, this is a place that didn't have any lights or anything. At that particular time, I mean, I had pictures of everything when they were stringing the lights up in that area, you know, we got lights because I would put light poles up there to put the lights, you know, okay, then that meant that other people in that area could get lights because mm -hmm. I had paid to have the light poles. Mm -hmm. Okay, my the school had one of the hardest, one of, I'm saying hardest, but one of the most difficult trying time sometime in traveling in Africa before the uh, before I started the building was a finding a toilet. Mm. Man, you go to the bushes. Mm. 
And I, I, I never, it was the first time I went, well, not the first time, but the first time we went as a group, it was me and Dawn. I remember Dawn. Uh, Pat, you remember Dawn? Mm -hmm. Okay. We went, and it was always a problem with the toilet. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you, and with me having a group of people with me, I would have, I always, I was the one that had the money. <laughs> And you know, if you give them American money, I I wasn't thinking that when I gave this lady twenty dollars, that I was really giving her a lot of money, you know, because I had a, a place for all the ladies to go through the toilet, you know. It was not an inside, so when I built that building, man, I had toilets. You hear me? Mm -hmm. There was the first flushing toilets up there. How did y'all get like? I mean, you said this is a village. How did y'all get running water? Like, where is where? Well, there was a time? certain amount of. It, it was a village. That's what they call it. They didn't call it a silly city. It was not even a town at that time. It's all of that now. She started it. Cause when I, oh my goodness, <laughs> I, I was like, wait a minute, some kind of way I'm gonna have a picture and then I can show you. Mm -hmm. but, and how many students is it now? Oh. Uh, about 300 now. Because, see, I started out with it being a school of dressmaking. That's what I wanted. That's one part of it. Okay. Then I had another. I had it divided up. That first floor was like, on one end, it was like for the preachers to come together. So they, you know, and I would get um, videos like uh, T.D. Jakes and all. And every so often we would... I would either take stuff over there or I would send, uh, um, what is it? A container. Uh, a barrel. Yeah. Huh? A barrel. Ba not mm -hmm. a barrel, but we would use, um, um, I'm trying to think. They call them containers, like the, what you said the lady you all want to build. Shipping okay. containers. Shipping containers. All right. And that, uh, we were connected with Africans in the United States. Because Stacy, I don't know if you, did you ever know me, Stacy? Stacy was, you would run with me. He met her. He, was that Pastor you, Joey's wife? That's no, that mirrors me. I can never get them over there. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we had connections. Mm -hmm. And so when they were sending stuff over, we could put our stuff in there. You know, I said many barrels. Okay. Every time we would go as a group, everybody, they had one suitcase for themselves, and the other case was for Africa. Okay. okay. It, it, when you go 22 times from, from the year 2000 to the year 2010 was the last time I think I was over there. So you went like twice a year, right? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Sometimes it was twice a year. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I mean, it's like to just see, you know, and oh my God. I started out, the dressmaking school was um, like six girls. And we would take pictures and Georgina would have them make paper patterns. I don't know if you ever got the newsletter with that. They mm -hmm. had paper. They that was the. They didn't go to the store and buy patterns. Jo, uh, Georgina had been to tailoring school, mm -hmm. so she was able to have the girls before they cut the material. They made a dress out of paper. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> but it was like going in a jungle. I called mm -hmm. it a jungle. It was not jungles up here. It was jungle down there. You had to use you know, a like machete, machete, right? Uh, you had to use a machete, machete, right? Okay, but it was not... When I, when I describe it and I say it was a jungle, people think now jungle would be like you see uh, Trees. Tarzan. Yeah. See, okay, you know, from, the, from, the, from above you. But these were on the ground. You Tall had grass. Huh? Tall grass. Yeah. Yeah. Not just grass, weeds, <laughs> trees, and branches, and uh -huh. branches of stuff. 
on the ground. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, so little by little, little by little, little by little, this building was getting done. But I wanted it to not only be uh, dressmaking, I wanted a uh, space, and I did have it at first, a space where the ministers would come together. Because, you know, it's like, hey, I'm not coming over here to start a church. I didn't know what I was getting ready to do, but I knew I was starting a church. And I had to have that meeting with the, with the pastors in that area. And some of them I'm still in contact with. I hear from them maybe on a monthly basis. Mm -hmm. You know, they might be having a birthday or something. Now I say, hey, you know, okay. So, uh, who's running? You said with Georgina and Francis. They running it now? Yeah. They, they own it. I gave it to them mm -hmm. after I had the, the stroke and everything. And I knew I probably, I didn't think I'd still be alive now. Mm -hmm. But they were the two that I could trust. And out of all the thousands, the huh? And they were there from the beginning, right? From the beginning, they saw. I mean, they met me when I first got there, you know. And they, the at that time, the time the pastor that they they were with, he came to the U. He had been to the U. U. S. But he came. He came. I'm not sure how long, how many times I've been there, but uh, no one. They, he stayed at Dawn's house. He stayed at Dawn's house. Uh, <laughs> but uh, so they 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 own it now. They own hey, it. He gave it to them. Huh? Yeah. Well, he hey, gave it to them. The past, you know, after I hadn't been able to get over there, he suggested you need to turn this over. Yeah. You need to do something with this land. So the couple that is in the U.S. right now, they live in Georgia. She worked in the government department. So she knew she was, her desk was like here and other, you know, the desk that they had to go to was like here. And she was the one that trans helped me get the transfer. It had to be transferred. It was a legal thing. Mm -hmm. And this was after they, what is it? They, um, what do they call it? When they... What? No, that was the name of the ministry. <laughs> oh, she's taking pictures. Like, oh, my God. I didn't even go my hair. But anyway, you know... Wait, I've been when, doing this for 17 minutes now. Oh, okay. Well, this, <laughs> this, this is a long story, okay? But uh, to be able to... What do they call it? The GPS? Mm -hmm. You know? So they could... You know, like you can say, well, we, here we are. Yeah. Okay, they were doing that in that area. So before I could really get it transferred over, the government, you know, everything, you know, you're just going in there and uh, and doing whatever, you know. So they should be able, I, I said, okay, I should be able to find uh, the school in the while, but it wasn't like that, you know. So with me not not getting back over there. Some things I just couldn't do no longer. Mm -hmm. 